hello everyone welcome back to mrs Dewey food channel how have you guys all been doing well today's recipe is another Ghanaian great soup which is the Ghanaian goat meat soup and I was so lucky enough to get myself some goat's meat with the skin on it as you can see in the video yes we love that one don't we and I would like to thank sister Coast from Adam shop in Brussels Belgium for getting me this great coat so if you ever pass by Brussels go straight to Madu and get yourself some goat meat with the skin on it well my recipe is straightforward easy and tasty and I am introducing another vegetable which you can use when preparing goat's meat soup okay so as usual let's all watch this video together and of course I will see you very soon for different tasty Mrs. Jury recipe if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do because you are missing a lot here okay so I'll see you very soon in another recipe guys and thank you for watching so let's all get started right away okay guys so as I was saying I have here some wonderful goat meat with the skin on it and it is very difficult to find it in the UK as a matter of fact you can't find it but if you go to Belgium you can get some and if you have any place where I could get it please leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to go and check it so here I have one little onion diced and I also have here my new ingredient which is the European aubergine so if you don't have the Ghanaian ones you know the Nyadua or some people call it Entroa you can use this one as well and that one is more common I have here a can of plum tomatoes use fresh ones if you like I'll be using some ground ginger I have here one tablespoon of tomato paste one onion three garlic cloves one beef cube stock and of course i'll be using some salt to taste and here separately i have two onions um some fresh ginger about the size of a thumb two maggi cubes okay i might use one only here and i have three big scotch bonnet peppers and of course feel free to use more if you like it very very spicy but all right so in our blender add one onion three garlic cloves and enough water to blend so i would say add a bit less than a liter of water so we are going to use this to steam our goat meat all right guys okay and now add one beef cube stock all right now place the lid back on and blend it until very very smooth now pour the mixture on the meat and add the diced onion I showed you in the beginning next add one tablespoon of tomato paste or tomato concentrate and add enough salt and here I'm gonna add about one tablespoon of ground ginger you can also use the fresh one if you want but I'll be using the fresh one later on and let it simmer for about 15 minutes okay guys right 15 minutes later i am stirring everything and i am going to add my remaining ingredients which are my two onions my ginger and my three scotch bonnet peppers and also last but not least my aubergine and then i'm going to cover it and let it simmer for another 15 to 20 minutes so basically until my vegetables are soft enough to be blended 
and as you can see here my vegetable are ready so I'm gonna take them out and put it straight away in my blender and add in my can of tomato plum and as I said in the beginning please feel free to use uh, fresh tomatoes all right but I usually use with canned um, tomatoes and blend it until smooth now pour the mixture on it and give it just a little stir all right guys so we are now going to add our water so I'll be adding between one and a half liters to two liters it really depends on how thick uh, you want it usually when I prepare goat meat soup I like it spicy and very light so a light goat meat soup now give it a good stir and put the lid back on it we are now going to let it cook for another 15 minutes but look well at the video I did not cover it entirely so this is what you have to do dear friends this is my soup now and it's beginning to look tasty and good and you can see some oil on the top there it means my soup is getting ready soon so now add some salt and add some maggi cube to your taste and stir it and leave it on for another 15 minutes but not covered okay guys so this is my soup now I'm giving you a special slow motion <laughs> Uh, and how do you see my soup? Isn't it wonderful? Don't you want to eat this with your fufu? And I'm a boy. They make an ibuana. na when kwa umwa. Say ufufu na upesu titi. And here, as usual, I have my close-up of my goat meat with skin. Hey, a punchi na mi na mi di show off sano. I say mo. Okay, guys, me di. I come to me. I will say me titi. So I'm getting myself some goat light soup on my plate and as a matter of fact i am going to enjoy it just like this no fufu today just like this okay guys so i i just want to tempt you guys look at this soup look at that isn't this lovely well guys you really really need to try it i really hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you learned something new today and know that you can also make goat soup with the common european aubergine the long black one so if you can't get yourself the Ghanaian one the small yellow ones or white one it depends on the color i guess you can use this one it is also an aubergine okay and also another alternative you can also use butter beans if you like but I would say use the aubergine if it's the one you can get easily thank you for watching my videos guys and I'll see you very soon for another recipe please 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 leave me comments and thumbs up and don't forget to share my videos I love you all very much and thank you all for your support thank you and bye bye